Hello, everybody. We're back here talking about Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux on G4G. As usual, I am Napalm Dawn. It's going to be a pretty quick video, so let's go ahead and get into it. So one thing I want to remind you guys, if you are using Beta 5.2, don't forget to click on the question mark for the daily spin, and don't forget to do collect all to get resources from your allies. Your allies list should probably be getting pretty big at this particular point in time. Ah, uh, good old Agatha Harkness. I like that picture. All right, so what are we talking about today? Well, today we're gonna talk about the features upcoming in Beta 6 when it comes down the pipe. So, before your collective gasp, is completely inhaled into your body upon hearing news of beta 6 there's a few things that i need to get out of the way immediately here at the beginning of the video before we talk as usual there is not going to me to be a mobile version of this game so don't ask about it windows mac and likely some linux we've confirmed it works on the steam deck so you have it there uh, it is not going to be for other OS's whatsoever. It's not going to be for Android or Chrome or iOS. There has been some discussion recently about people looking to get a, uh, an accessibility thing going on for Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux. And that is the ability to play it uh, without a mouse by using keyboard shortcuts and everything. The coding team has said they would take a look into it to see if it is possible. Um, but as a reminder, if you play Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux on a tablet or a laptop with a touchscreen, the touchscreen does in fact function. So um, if a person has a dexterity issue or accessibility issue with a mouse, you should be able to uh, play it on a touchscreen device, such as say like a Microsoft Surface running the full version of Windows, not like those older ones with RT or that Windows 8 RT crap and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, like a, a handheld device like that Asus one that is competing with the Steam Deck or the Lenovo one, the Lenovo Legion one that is going to be coming out, Lenovo Legion Go, I think it is. Any of those devices that have a touch screen you would be able to use it and if you do it on a steam deck two of those touch pads have that haptic feedback and um you can use the touch pads as a mouse cursor get the cursor over your selection and then tap the pad uh similar to um you know laptop the touch pad on a laptop so that's some options that i wanted to bring to you guys the other thing we need to talk about before we get deeper into the video is don't ask about timelines or ETAs of beta 6 or how many betas we're gonna have before it's final. Uh, what you're seeing about beta 6 in this particular video is the news that I can give you at this time. And right now I don't know any deeper news. I, it, I'm not in the know in terms of will there be extra items in the store? Will some of the buggier items from 5.01 that were moved to 5.2 will they be fixed and come back will we have more heroes that's not under my purview at the time so i don't have that information i just had the information that you're going to see here which is currently posted on discord and in the facebook group links will be down in the description below uh, as i sit here and basically dr evil my bigglesworth with uh, chewy in my lap and sitting here enjoying pets and looking up at me lovingly i will also mention that uh and this is atypical for me i don't particularly bring this up a lot but i'm 100 subs away from 5,000 subs on youtube so if you're watching this and you like redux content and you are not currently subbed please do so uh the subs have actually been rising over the last few months I've gone from the 4,800 range to now 4,900 flat. So let's see if we can hit 5,000 subs here on YouTube. So sub subscribe if you haven't already. 
So the Beta 6 news, here we go. This is the big one right early on. We're gonna hit you hard and fast. Tool tips. That's right, folks. Tool tips are going to be featured in Beta 6. This is one of the biggest things that they're working on for Beta 6. This is one of the things that the team is most happy about. Uh, a lot of people have been like, I, you know, I don't know what this ISO does. Should I slot it? What really did this gear do? Oh, Hex One gave me probability field just like the cube. I, like, I didn't remember that. I was dodging stuff like crazy. But yes, we, we know that for some time now you've had to go to the wiki, whether it be the Redux wiki or the original one, and kind of look things up just to see what they do or what somebody's ability did if you didn't remember. Um, so tooltips will make their appearance in beta 6. One thing that I want to point out here, if you look, the all the fonts in this look pretty good. Um, it looks very, very original, looks very clean, and uh, like basically how it was, you know, um, 11 years ago when the game started. I can tell you that the name of the Marvel Avengers Alliance font or the font family that this belongs to is called Euro Style E U R O S T I L E if you search on font sites you will find Euro Style and you can bring the Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux font into your system if you're on Windows and I'm not exactly too sure how it works with a Mac but on Windows, you can download the font and install it to your Windows. Also, if you have games that allow you to do font modifications like World of Warcraft, you can even bring the font over to World of Warcraft using shared media, the add-on, and basically recreate Marvel Avengers Alliance in World of Warcraft. So I, I just wanted to give you that heads up. Somebody had posted the name of the font recently on Facebook, but we had known about it for um, several months now and, and the coding team knew of some fonts that looked really really close to the original Marvel Avengers Alliance font but in case anybody's interested in that font there you go it's called Euro style but with an I instead of a Y so multi shot injector here you can see the tooltip I'm not really too sure if it actually costs zero stamina I'd have to check on that but um, getting this amount working on a tooltip is phenomenal. The area under genetic alteration is a bit squashed. Uh, I don't remember if the tooltip would have been like that in the original, but maybe um, that's something that they're working on. But this is really, really good shape, and it's going to make just about everybody happy to see tooltips on abilities and gear again. And I know when ISOing the characters, um, I remember enough, uh, you know, vicious, masterful, steady. Um, I used the PKB method way back in the day. So I'm, I remember pretty much with the ISO names of what they do, but it's not like I remember 100%. So getting tooltips again would be um, great. Here you can see that for the seasons, a proper unlock path is going to be working so instead of being able to jump into any mission and start starring them the actual original logical and linear path will be ahead of you when beta 6 drops so you'll have to get your you know your first couple stars there with uh season one chapter one mission one and then you can go on to mission two mission three etc and etc so this recreates how the original game did it and as you can see over here with modok and viper there is tasks over here and more on that in a little moment but you notice it's not just uh empty over there anymore like it typically is by the way um when anybody gets this background for redux does anybody think this looks like a weird mouth hole in Hulk? Like, you can see Hulk's shoulder and arms here, and that's his stomach. And, and this portion over here 
kind of looks like a venom mouth right in the middle of uh, Hulk's stomach. Me Hulk eat the stomach. Anyway, so moving on to the next picture, we have a another uh, deck picture over here. This one, as you can see, is is very green. Um, looks very irradiated. Um, and, and as I had joked, it looks like Hulk had farted on the deck over here. And you can see little timers for people are now showing up. So you can now see how much longer uh, somebody has on their timer and has the little uh, clock icon there. You can see the tasks have changed. So the tasks are seemingly, at least for the most part, working and are dynamic. You can unlock PVAI to get a free hero. So this is a small little quest that basically makes sure that you are ready to do PVAI and you have to do a certain amount of tasks ahead of time, like get to uh, Season 1, Chapter 1, Mission 4. Here, Goofy is on Mission 5. Help the agent get to level 4 first. He's on 72. And defeat 25 enemies, and he's on 4 out of 25. Does this mean that there will be PVAI teams to fight in Beta 6? I don't know that at this point. Um, don't ask me. Don't ask me what the free hero is. Don't ask me if you'll actually be fighting PVAI enemies in Beta 6. I don't know that yet. I would imagine Goofy would like to keep the button live for a little bit longer so people can test. So I cannot accurately predict whether there will be any PvP teams. However, just being able to test the logic of a task and make sure it works correctly uh, is a massive, massive step. And here we can see another deck picture with uh, some slightly different colors, bubblegum colors going on over here. So yeah, there are going to be some surprises in Beta 6. I, I happen to know about one of them. It's been brought up in the announcements, but I'm, I'm going to save that for when Beta 6 actually drops and I uh, do a video on it. Couple things to remember. Certain things in the Beta here with 5.2, despite the leaps and bounds that they made from the earlier, earlier Beta 5 versions, not everything is working quite yet. So some gear in the store may be still problematic. As you can see here, I, I don't have a tool tip on the multi-shot injector. So that's one of the things that will come in beta six when it drops. But if you have brought over a save from um, beta, uh, the earlier betas in the five series, you will be able to see things like the Hulkbuster suit and everything. Oh my god, that's just... Hulkbuster suit has a third leg. Okay. Little... Little, uh... Little freaky there. That's either a third leg or that's a get down Mr. President moment of Hulkbuster jumping in front of Iron Man. I'm, I'm happy to say I can finally start training... Hawkeye and Black Widow because I'm done with the Spec Ops. As you can see over here, there's Bobby. I should have trained her first. Anyway, yeah, so I recruited Bobby. I did the Spec Ops, which is basically to five star everything. This is the only Spec Ops that Playdom put out that that was the rule and that you had to five star everything. Um, I actually think it was a pretty obnoxious requirement. I, I used to think, oh, you know, that wouldn't be too bad. You wouldn't have to do tasks, just keep playing missions. And if I star them, it's easy. You will get there eventually, you just need to spend the time. Yeah, in all honesty, I think I like the tasks. Um, trying to get five stars in all of those missions, even when using high combos, like I was using Iron Man and Thor, I was using Iron Man and uh, Pepsi Can over here. Uh, I, w I mean, I was definitely pulling in some big tubs, but it, uh, it was rough. And then I was always afraid to train a lot of the early Avengers because they were needed. 
So sometimes like Black Widow and Hawkeye, they were just rotting at a level because I never wanted to train them. But then again, you actually have to have a somewhat decent Black Widow if you want to get through Hammerhead over there. People have brought up the question, are spec ops going to be evergreen? Will they stay around forever? And when the game goes live, the answer to that is in fact, yes. So once a spec ops is released, you have infinity until you can complete the, the spec ops. They don't go away. It's, it's not like it was in the Marvel Avengers Alliance days where a spec ops might go from December 15th to January 10th and then you no longer had access to it. And if you didn't get done what you wanted to do, you were out of luck. If you never pulled the ISO enough ISOs to do the missions and you were hoping to win that thousand bucket on the daily spinner, um, you know, and then start it up again, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. The Spec Ops will continue to use their, their colored ISOs. And once we get into the repeats, the team has something planned for that. They also have new colors planned for the new Spec Ops that have been written. So you may see colors that have never shown up before, including rainbow and unicorn jizz and s'mores colors. Um, so the, the team has got some good plans for that. And that is about it, folks. So that is the uh, hype that we've got going on for Beta 6. If you happen to go over to the Discord and you look at the announcements, you'll see the same stuff there as you can on Facebook. So a couple things to remember with the Facebook because our Facebook group has gotten extremely busy lately. Um, Beta 5.2 has pulled in a lot of people from all walks of life across the globe so you know hello to our turkish friends our south american brazilian and peruvian and argentinian friends and we do have uh several new mexican friends joining us um i think even some philippines so greetings to our uh pinoy friends that we've got joining us recently but remember when it comes to the facebook group when you join the group, you do answer several questions to get into the group. And one of them asks you to read the FAQ before joining the group and understanding what it is when you join the group. So some things I want to point out, we have a consolidated bug thread now on Facebook. So if you have a bug, you're going to come and paste it here or uh, not paste it, but uh, type it out here. There is a format to it. We want to know what operating system you're using, what language your operating system is, like English, Turkish, Portuguese. That There is a reason for that. It seems like a throwaway question. It is not. This is very important. Are you using the most recent beta? Um, if the bug is your game not launching and there are some steps here to take for that, are you using a save that you brought up from an older beta? And did you search the group already to see if the bug was already posted? That is a bad one because we have heard about the hidden blade at least 50 times. Because uh, it's an early piece of gear everybody gets and everybody's like, oh, the hidden blade crashes the game. Yeah, we, we knew. We knew like two months ago. So um, use this consolidated thread for bugs. The current version that is available from Mega is here in this sticky from uh, Goofy. So you can get it there from Mega. Uh, from Mega, The other stickies that are here is a link to the video that talks about how to fix several bugs. And the actually, so I'm going to unpin this one. We don't need beta 4 pin anymore, and that kind of just clogs up the stickies. Um, and then the FAQ is over here a couple clicks. So this is the FAQ that is talked about when you join the group. Essentially, the rules are 
don't ask about mobile versions don't ask about eta don't ask what we call mugen related questions like can we get batman in the game can we get anjumima get in the game can we get the pink panther in the game instead of the black panther and um you know have internet skills like we're not here to help you unzip a zip file we're here to troubleshoot the game for you but unzipping a zip file is a skill that you should have be it on a mac or especially windows computer i go back all the way to the days of pk unzip when i did it on the command line from floppy disks that had doom 2 spread out across five disks and i would have to unzip a zip file that was across four or five floppy disks so uh yeah i omega drives remember those i had one of those it was one of the biggest things of the day was to have an i omega drive um also this is not necessarily guaranteed to be in any betas but goofy has been working on some animations like the um the comic covers coming out of lockboxes when you unlock them that does not mean we're going to have a lockbox hero in beta 6 or in any beta in the future he's just showing some of the things that he's working on and you can see here there's a, a nice little animation of a lockbox opening and yeah i um i would like to definitely work on some lockbox characters again it's just as we get closer to Christmas and remember what it was to do uh, Doctor Doom back in the day, and not not Doctor Doom. Sorry. Uh, actually, yes, I do mean Doom. What am I thinking? I'm I'm looking at the. Gra I was thinking of the graphic of Doc Ock and thinking I was saying it wrong. Yes, um, getting Doom on Christmas. Uh, I, I hope other people who watch this video got to live through that and experience the way um they set it up for doom with earning the lock boxes and then not being able to open it up until um christmas and everything like that because it really did turn me into a child i was eight years old that christmas eve i waited up until about three o'clock in the morning and the boxes still were not unlockable and i was like shit i need to go to bed so that i can wake up and and celebrate christmas christmas with my family on time but then i also was excited to go to bed to wake up to hopefully open the doom boxes so yeah i that totally reduced me to being an eight year old uh that christmas hybrid you know maybe not so much but the way that they did, uh, the way that they did it for Doom, was really amazing, and it's it's funny how much I regressed in age at that particular time to sit there and be like, oh, I'm like waiting for Santa, and getting a Nintendo 64. Um, actually, I never had a Nintendo 64. I was, I would have gotten it myself at, at that particular age. I don't honestly remember the last console I got as a Christmas gift as a kid because past a certain point I was just kind of always taking care of it myself um Atari there was definitely an, a, an Atari 2600 and a Commodore 64 uh I got those as gifts and then after that the SNES and the NES and everything um I was taking care of it myself uh, a girlfriend did get me the PlayStation 1 and Final Fantasy VII in the Christmas of '97. That was uh, that was very very big because she saw me drooling for Final Fantasy VII commercials and was like, ah, I got to get him that. But um, and as a gift, um, my current girlfriend also got a PlayStation Five for the both of us, which is fair because I got her a Switch. So that um, yeah, that's that's it for me and, and consoles and everything. But Doom totally turned me back into being a kid anyway so that is it for marvel avengers alliance beta 6 news again i do not have an eta when it is coming out and if i do find out about any more features planned for beta 6 you guys will absolutely be the first to know as soon as i know about it see you later everybody take care